Good morning, Munchkin. Good morning, hello. He's been like itching something under his arm all day, so we put some Neosporin on it, but... Oh, my little baby. He's like a little human sleeping on a pillow. He's like a little human. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcome to Life with Lena. And if you guys are new here, please click that red subscribe button down below. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. I'm going to go make some quinoa right now. I'm going to make some of these quinoa coconut milk pancakes. They were so good the last time I made it and everybody loved them and I just want to make them again so I can put them in the freezer and then I can have them whenever I want. Alright guys, I'm in the middle of making some pancakes. Sorry, let me just turn that vent off so you guys can hear me. But here we go. Here's my quinoa pancakes. Um, yeah, and I have all these to make. They take a while to make because they take a while to cook. Um, the recipe says about five minutes. So, it does take a while, but it's okay. Then I'll have them, like, ready in the freezer. Just holding this down because I have the fan on and it keeps flying. So, they'll be ready. Um, I'm going to put them on here and then I'll put them in the freezer in, like, one layer. And then if I need another layer, I'll put another piece of parchment paper so that they don't stick. And then once they're, like, half frozen, I could throw them in a bag and then I'll be good. On my second layer of pancake stacking right now, got three more right here. And then I still have a little bit more batter left. Probably makes like two or three more, something like that. And then I have to pack up that quinoa as well. Yeah, but we're doing good. In case you guys also want the recipe, I'll have it linked down below for you guys. I don't remember if I put it in the last vlog that I made these quinoa pancakes, but I will have the recipe for you guys down below. It's such a good recipe. I'm so happy I found quinoa pancakes. They are so, so, so yummy. Oh, this one's ready. Okay. Look, I'm like a professional flipper now too. You guys see this? Look at my flipping skills. Yeah, girl. I think they're all ready actually. Ugh, okay. I just talked so good about my flipping and then I messed one up. <laughs> That's what happens when you try to talk good about yourself. So these are ready to go in the freezer, my two layers of pancakes, and then I have some to eat right now because I'm so hungry. So I have three pancakes for now. Three pancakes is actually the perfect amount for me with these ones because, you know, quinoa is a little filling as well. So um, three pancakes is good. I tested that out already when I was at my sister's house and we each had three pancakes and we were like totally fine after that and not even hungry anymore. So perfect. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I have 14. Okay, I guess I got 14 spare ones, 15, 16, 17, so I made 17 pancakes. Now the rest of the coconut milk, I feel like I've been wasting way too much. I open a can and normally that's how much I use, but I read that you could um, freeze it. So I'm gonna put it into these things. These are about two ounces each, so two, four, six, four ice cubes would equal one cup, you know, um, so I could pretty much just know when I want to use ice cubes later, like how many I'll need depending on the recipe. Three ice cubes would be three fourths a cup, which is the perfect amount for these quinoa pancakes. That's all you needed. So I'm just going to freeze it and not waste coconut milk. So my water shoes came in, guys. I got a size seven and a half off of Amazon. I'm hoping that they fit. I just got black ones since that most of my bathing suits are black. So let's try these on. I can't even remember the last time I had water shoes. <laughs> It was like a really long time ago when I was still a kid. Oh, I think these actually fit. I could pretend they're flippers. <laughs> My dad says they look funny, but I think they're kind of cute and they fit, so that's all that matters. And I finally got some water shoes now. All right, guys, we're going to a barbecue later at my sister's house for Father's Day. Um, by the way, guys, if any men watch this channel, happy Father's Day to you guys. I just wanted to say that and get on here and say that. But I'm also about to go make some carrot cake cupcakes. Um, I'm going to make these and bring them over to the barbecue. I don't know. I just I wanted to make carrot cake. I wanted to make pineapple carrot cake, but we're not going to make that one. We're just going to make a regular carrot cake cupcake, and it's going to taste so good. It's the ones I made for Andre birthday and he loved them so much it's like one of his favorite cupcakes I've ever made so I definitely want to make those today and if you guys are wondering why I haven't vlogged while I'm like cooking or baking it's because I can't find my tripod I have like the spider tripod thingy that you know I can attach to anywhere and I have no idea 
what happened to it I don't know where it went or anything <laughs> like I really really have no idea so like it's really hard for me to vlog and then constantly try to like set up the camera on top of a cup or something um, where before I could just like set it up on this like mini tripod I could sit on the counter but I can't really do that and my mom's also in the kitchen so I don't really have that much space but we are gonna get to baking these are the best carrot cupcake carrot cupcakes ever I did a recipe video on this on my main channel so if you guys want that recipe I will also link it down below so you guys can check it out and we're gonna get to baking got my carrots I don't know if you guys remember but the last time I tried to make this it was torturous but now since then I got a food processor so it was so easy to make in the food processor cupcakes are baked cream cheese frosting is made I have like the uh, rose piping tip on top so I'm gonna make some roses oh actually I don't think I cut it deep enough damn it so I'm gonna butter my <laughs> butter my cupcakes that sounds so wrong I'm gonna put frosting on my cupcakes or ice the cupcakes rather that's what I should have said in my room because I have some AC on in here and this way they can cool down a little faster and hopefully my buttercream won't melt as fast I want to put them in the fridge after Here's how my little beautiful roses look. I'm just gonna put them in the fridge because I don't want it to melt. Goodbye, mister. I love you. Okay, guys, we're leaving my house now. Why do I feel like guys are zoomed in? Oh, you guys are zoomed in. Well, not by a lot, just by a little bit. Okay, I got the cupcakes. My dad kind of touched them in the fridge to the top, so a little of them are a little smushed like this one, but it's okay. They still look pretty good for the most part. So, I don't have a lid though, so we're just gonna, we're gonna take it and sit it on the other seat in my car and hopefully they don't go flying or anything, uh, but yeah, this is kind of heavy. Today's the day I also get to test out this uh, friction stick. Hi baby, hi munchkin. So I'm gonna put it all over my feet and we're gonna wear these shoes again. We're gonna try to, oh, I hope you guys are not looking at my dress right now. I don't know how you do this. Do I just put it all over my foot? A little bit on this side, a little bit back here. The smell is really strong though. I really don't like the smell, but what can you do? One foot down, let's put them in. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. I'm just saying everything wrong today, apparently. Everything. Oh no, the lights. Oh, come on, turn back on. They're automatic lights. Hello. I'm here, they're motion. Okay, lights back on. They're like motion detecting lights. So if they don't really see me moving, they like to dim back. Kuba, stay away from my cupcakes. I see you going, Kuba. Kuba, stay away, mister. If this works, guys, I'm gonna be amazed. And I'm gonna be lathering my feet up in this, literally, all the time. I'm gonna take it with me to go too, just in case. All right guys, I will just see you at the barbecue. Now that I'm looking at it, I don't even know if my shoes match. They're more of like a pinky mauve color and I'm wearing more of like a nude dress. This is like the dress I'm wearing. And then these are the shoes and I don't really know if they match. They are a little different, so. But whatever, I'm not gonna go back home now. Three hours later. So I'm back from the barbecue already. I picked up Andre. Um, we went to the barbecue. We had a good time. Everyone liked my carrot cupcakes. It was all good and dandy and everything. Now we're back at Andre's house. I'm about to just maybe draw something for the night. Just like one little thing or maybe I'll play some games. Who knows what I'll do. But I wanted to say good night to you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please click that red subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys tomorrow on tomorrow's next daily vlog. Bye!